Y'all know exactly what y'all saying and doing. And then when people call y'all out, y'all want to say, I'm sorry, I know how offensive this was. So why would you say it? What's good, you guys? And welcome on another episode. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are well. And if you are here for the very first time, thank you so much for tuning in. At the beginning of this month, a black creator made a video talking about how it is Black History Month and trust this palm colored people, especially doing stuff to get the attention or to get a reaction from black people. I feel like this is one of those videos that that creator was referring to because why would you speak? spend your own money as a palm colored person on something that doesn't really belong to you guys and come online and start calling that a certain name and start acting ignorant not even ignorant at this point i just feel like this person is acting very stupid and just need the attention from black community just to be able to get some coins i am going to roll the clip because the original video has been deleted i don't know if it was reported or it deleted it when people started stitching to his video so without wasting much time let me just roll the clip and let's see what this guy is saying. Finally bought the African poop soap off TikTok shop. Oh wait, no, I mean it's the African black soap. But this thing definitely looks like a pile of poop. Imagine calling this soap that does this in 7 to 10 business days, African poop soap. During Black History Month. Is that not colonizer behavior? Just because it's 100% natural and you can actually see the ingredients in it, doesn't mean you can call it that. I finally bought the African poop soap off TikTok shop. Oh wait, no, I mean it's the African black soap. But this thing... At this point, y'all not even trying no more. <laughs> y'all wiggers are ridiculous. Folks don't even care about black history no more. <laughs> y'all just do whatever. African poop soap. African poop soap. Y'all know exactly what y'all saying and doing. And then when people call y'all out, y'all want to say, I'm sorry, I know how offensive this was. So why would you say it? This is exactly what I meant when I said people get on this app and be racist every day. And then when they come on here and issue them bogus apologies, y'all be so, oh, they're so sorry. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're ignorant and they're nasty. Why would you ever fix your mouth to come on here and say that it's African black soap? And then y'all keep making jokes and stuff. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. And that's that's weird. It's weird to me. What is y'all so what is the obsession with y'all being so racist? For real, for real. What are y'all getting out of it? What is it? And then the kicker is TikTok wanna come and block and ban people's TikToks for unnecessary that has nothing to do with stuff, but they'll keep the TikToks like this up. Y'all know these TikToks are racist, but y'all gonna keep them up anyway. And then y'all just keep saying sorry when y'all know y'all not sorry. Y'all trying to be funny. I finally bought the African poop soap off TikTok shop. Oh wait, no, I mean it's the African black soap. But this thing definitely looks like a pile of poop. What? Dog, w what are you doing? B African poop soap? D during Black History Month, really? It doesn't even look like poop, bro. It just looks like regular, all-natural, handmade soap. If this is what your poop looks like, then that is a you problem, bro. What are you eating? Have you never seen handmade natural soap, bro? Did you think it would look like Irish Spring? Imagine looking at African black soap and being like, <laughs> that looks like my poop. I'm gonna call it African poop soap. Somehow that's racist. I, some way, somehow, that, 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 that's gotta be racist, bro. I don't know how yet, but we're going to figure it out. That, that's that got to be racist. Remember back in middle school, one of the white boys made fun of a black kid's dreads? I don't remember the insult exactly, but he said something like his hair looked like dog poops on his head. Be clear, I'm not saying that you did that. I'm not saying that you were one of those kids. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm getting the same vibe, kind of. It was probably just harmless yapping. I'm sure he didn't mean anything intentionally. But listen, when he said that, I was taken aback, bro. That video has stuck in my head for days, bro. I had to talk about it. Baltimore, I'm out. Guys, I finally bought the African poop soap off TikTok shop. Oh, wait, no, I mean it's the African black soap. But this thing definitely looks like a pile of poop. Apparently, you're supposed to... Ignorance is really a bliss. The fact that you are able to get on this internet and say that African black soap looks like poop is insane to me. As an African person, make sure if you're going to use our products to be respectful and keep it cute. Because at the end of the day, using our products to make sure your behind is clean. So if you're not going to say anything nice about it, don't use it at all or don't post up your video being ignorant. You have to learn to be respectful to people's culture and things like that because y'all will literally say the most disrespectful stuff and then when you see backlash you surprise or you shock 
Why are you shocked? Why are you surprised? You was being disrespectful to a group of people and to a product that's very valuable in their community. So yeah, please learn how to be respectful of other people's culture. If you're not going to be respectful at all, just don't use the product. It's that simple. I said what I said. That creator who tried to be funny when he said, oh, I just bought the African poop soap. He knew what he was doing when he posted that video. It's called rage bait. You post something that's so absurd, so annoying, or so just out the ordinary to get a response from the people because obviously people are going to start engaging with it. People are going to comment, they're going to share it, they're going to be all over your post because how dare you say something like that? How dare you do something so silly like that? It's called rage bait. It's a way to increase your views, get more engagement, especially if you're in the beta program here on TikTok, so that you can get more money. The video was taken down, so kudos to you, bro. But yeah, like, come on, guys. When you see stuff like that, honestly, just keep scrolling. <laughs> Please don't feed into that. Please don't give them the attention that they're obviously looking for. Like, not everything needs a reaction from us. They're looking for a way to make a quick buck to get a reaction out of you, to keep the people talking. That's it. That's it. Don't fall for the hype. Because I know that you know that we all know that that soap clearly looks nothing like poop. Like, come on. He was literally just... Come on, guys. These people seem not to ever, ever learn. Yesterday, we were talking about the three white teenage girls who went to Sephora in Boston. And, you know, they were putting on black faces and making monkey noises in Sephora. That went super viral. Like I said in that video, it's like they don't learn at all. Because today... We are talking about someone, another palm-colored person who is blatantly being stupid because he knows what he's doing. Like, if you listen to what he said in that video, he said, today I went to this and got the African poop soap. Oh, sorry, African black soap. And he literally tagged that as well on the video. It's the same as calling or saying something like black people look like monkey. Like, it's the same as those microaggressions, those stupid things that they do just for attention because they cannot leave unless they are getting the attention from black community. Now when this video start beating their asses in the future, they will not come with that very crappy, ashy apology and start saying they were ignorant, they were naive. If you're old enough to spell poop and you're old enough to spell black, then you are not ignorant. If you're old enough to even use two together in the same sentence, we don't want you coming back and start saying, oh, you were ignorant. I hope these people are going to wake up and understand that the internet has a track record and it's going to beat their hearts in the future that these people are still doing stuff like this in freaking 2024 like we know they can't live without the attention of black people it's very obvious because they prove this every single day let me hear your thoughts about this video in the comment section and if you have not subscribed please subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on and i'll see you guys in the next one bye and i love you guys